everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we're due for an Eden run, right off the bat. Very scary. I left myself an Eden run first thing in the morning. Good HP, little Stevie, and Flush. Flush is not good, but it can be okay in the early game. TED1S79Z. Most important thing, high HP. I'm starting to, to become of the mindset that basically if you have a high HP to start a run, the odds of you losing it, if, if you're playing properly at least, as, as best as you possibly can, are like, real low. I'm gonna take Ringworm. I think I'm gonna leave this floor with Ringworm. Don't be like, oh, Northern Lion, you're a big old baby not taking Ringworm. I'm just holding off for a second, you know, to make sure I don't hemorrhage a, a buttload of HP here. Liberty Cap is a decent trinket as well. The game's been pretty kind to me so far in that regard. We're using Flush. Uh, on these big rooms, because that is the most, uh, basically cost-effective time to do so. How do I feel about our other stats? Um... Rate of Fire, I mean, it's hard to say now that we've got Liberty Cap augmenting it. Rate of Fire seems okay, damage seems low, uh, you know, something's gotta give, usually. And I'm not just talking about the landmark Diane Keaton, Amanda Peet, Jack Nicholson film, and yes, I do give Amanda Peet second billing. She was amazing in that movie. It was her second best film of all time, next to the whole 10 yards. I'm only being half serious. Bombs are key. Totally fine. Might rather have uh, two keys in the early game. Sorry, two bombs in the early game. Although, you know, we're gonna need to find like a tinted rock in order to justify that completely, but two bombs plus a key does allow us to probably get a spirit art from our shop, and as far as I'm concerned, if we can get, you know, HP on this floor, deal with the devil on the next floor, with deal with the devil precedent, 85% of our work is done for us. It is still, like, completely plausible to lose, but it's not gonna be super, super likely. Shears kicks the crap out of, uh... And in fact, we can actually use that to get a Tinted Rock right here. Is it worth it? Let me work it, put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I'm thinking we'll, uh... I think we'll hold off on Shears until we see what our boss fight is. Magician, not not immediately very worthwhile. Um, if the boss is hard, I'll use the shears there and then try to buy a spirit heart. If the boss is easy, which it is, roughly speaking at least, um, I would rather lose like half of a red heart here or even one full red heart and then use the shears on. Yeah, there we go. Use the shears on that room to fly and then place the bomb and get whatever's in that tinted rock. Pretty decent chance of it being. Uh, Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's not completely throw here. Pretty de decent chance of it being uh, a couple of spirit hearts or a, um... You know what? I'm gonna shut up for a second. I think I gotta focus just a little bit here. There's enough HP for me to heal myself, but it was looking a little rough there. Two HP against the, uh... The Widow is not the position you want to be in, if I would argue that. But anyway. I'm glad it was this floor and not the next floor, and we're back to full HP already anyway. Ooh, that could have been better, could have been worse. You know what, fuck Ringworm, I know. The, of course, when I said no to it at first, it became a slippery slope, and now I've uh, just told it to fudge itself. But uh, it's better for us this way, I think. And there's one Spirit Heart. It was not worth a bomb and a, uh, a charge of the Shears to get just one Spirit Heart. If we could have just used the key and five cents instead on the on the shop, but I don't know, maybe it was. I don't want to open that just yet, but if we get another key, that'll be, uh, you know, chief on my list. We are out of bombs, but, you know, we did get, pick up a spirit heart in the process, so I think it's pretty good. And honestly, last floor worked out fine. We replaced our not-so-good space bar item with a space bar item that is a decent amount better. Uh, I really do value Shears as one of the better space... Well, not even one of the better. That, that's like tempering my expectations there. I think it's one of the best space bar items in the game. Uh, the only thing is... I, uh, can't use it very often unless we pick up some, some shop augments, which, you know, that, that's gonna take time. No consumable drop there, that's okay. This is, uh, a really good situation to use the shears if we can also get, like, a battery charge somewhere else, because I would like to have the shears for the boss fights. I don't want to use the shears, pardon me, exclusively as an ability to fly, but on that room, for the cost of one shears charge, we can get something ridiculous like, you know, at least seven or eight cents, plus there's a tinted rock, plus there's two golden chests, which we don't have the access, we don't have the keys necessary to access right now, but you know, in the future that might be worthwhile. And if there's just a, if there's a uh, battery on the shop, then it pretty much pays for itself immediately, and that bomb actually makes it 
very, very likely that that's how we'll do it, I guess. Uh, Celtic Cross? I mean, we don't have a reroll, so this is going to be a pretty easy choice for us here. I don't know, but we came down here with like 11 cents. Yeah, so we should have a decent chance of getting an arcade. Getting as much money as we need to buy an item or two, and maybe some consumables to go along with it. I don't know, it, like, I don't want to buy the battery yet. Do we have a reroll or something capable? Doesn't look like it, because these are all going to be... Uh, maybe we will. And actually, there's a tinted rock that we don't have to spend the shears on, so maybe we'll value that a little bit more. I hope that this is not a self-sacrifice room up here. If it is, we can deal with it, but I'd really rather it weren't. One spirit heart again. Um, okay, that's pretty shitty. I guess we'll fight the boss without the shears. And we should be totally fine to do so, I just wish that we didn't have to. And then we can use the shears as the ability to fly um, on this room right here. Pick up a lot of money, go to our shop and maybe buy a bomb or buy another battery charge or you know, whatever we have to do in there. Maybe just buy an item because we're going to have a lot of money. And Monstro is, of course, like a, a pretty easy enemy for us to be fighting at this point of the game. I'm not too nervous about that. It's just like we have one too few rooms to be able to use the shears here and also use it on the, the utility room. But we may actually just get an ability to fly from our deal with the devil, which I think is probably, you know, maybe like a 25% chance, but that's not bad. And I'm continuing in the vein of, of pretty poor boss fights here. Getting hit once against Monstro is pretty poor, uh, as far as I'm concerned. It's not catastrophic or anything like that. We definitely have enough insulation HP-wise to be okay with it. Super Bandage is a huge help as well. And Death's Touch is also incredible. So this is a really, really good start here. We have a lot of HP, a lot of utility. Um, well, okay, if we open our... This is weird. I gotta buy the stuff I want before we actually pick that stuff up. Do I want a key? Yes. And I want a bomb. And then we can go pick up all this stuff. Because we can't come back for it, you know? Like, we, we only get one ability to fly unless we pick up the battery afterwards as well. Then in here we get a ton of consumables, so it's pretty much paid for itself here. I'm happy with this. And in here we, we at least got a few bombs out of it, so that's, you know, exciting-ish. And then that worked out pretty well for us. And we still have some more keys. Is there anything else we want here? I don't think so. So we'll go back here. We will go to our curse room, of course. There's nothing I can do about that uh, boss trap room unless this is our secret room down here. And these continue to work out... Oh, nice. These continue to work out pretty well for us, especially uh, in terms of bombs and also financially. Like, we spent some keys, but we got a, a lot of money back in the process. I might as well open one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I accept. I think I'm going to stick with the shears, and... That's not me necessarily the, uh, saying that the Shears is a better item than Guppy's head. Certainly, I... I mean, I may think that, but I'd have to give it some more thought, you know? You don't just go over the top on, on huge hot-button issues like that without having some decision-making processes and justifications to back it up. However, um, I, I use the shears so much less often that I would really like to give it its fair shake here, and I like it a lot. It, it helps us out a ton against bosses, uh, in particular, if we ever get a chance to use it against them instead of just popping it as an ability to fly. No key, huh? Bombs are key? Can't be. We've already seen it. And lockdown sucks, but inside of here, also jack shit, but good floor, good floor. I don't want blue candle. Um, I, I will probably buy the ladder just to be like... We can, basically. Uh, if I were a secret room, where would I be? I would be probably like, well, we've already checked there, apparently. There's a tinted rock. Maybe here? And if not there, then here or here? Okay, thank God. I mean, you get freaked out, but it's always going to be in the last place you look because you're going to stop looking for it afterwards, so it's... What is wrong with you, brain? That was not a good use of your resources right there. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take the ladder for now. It's not a, an amazing pickup, but it's okay. And we got Death's Touch on this floor, and we got Deal with the Devil Precedent. We got Super Bandage, although we've hemorrhaged a lot of that HP already. We should be in a pretty good spot. I mean, Death's Touch is a great item. Not the best damage upgrade, but possibly the most fun most fun looking, at least, damage upgrade. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Well, we spent a key to get it. Why don't we uh, use it right away? And we'll definitely pick up champion belts. Don't think anything else in here is immediately super pressing, but uh, we will trade a bomb for a golden key. 
course, if we'd known that there'd be a golden key here, or it had been a golden key here, we probably would have tackled this floor a little bit differently to start with. But if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, you know? You, you gotta... The other analogy or the other truism you could use there, hindsight is twenty twenty. If you knew exactly how everything was gonna go before you did it, you got, like, uh, supernatural powers. Oh, right, we have the ladder. <laughs> have I... <laughs> I probably did not. You gotta cut me some slack, okay? I very rarely take the ladder. Um, at least I didn't forget that I had the ability to fly, although functionally it was pretty similar. Alright. You got the husk. You got the power. But seriously, like, um. You are pretty much screwed if the shears could actually, like, get a bead on you. There we go. So much more damage than we do. We'll take our HP, and this is looking like your kind of traditional classic, uh. Third floor, you know, no deal with the devil to be had here. That's pretty nice, though. No deal with the devil to be had here unless we get a Joker card, but uh, we're improving ourselves. We still have an item room to go, of course, and there it is. All these guys are going to explode, so I should be able to get at least a, a mushroom or two out of it, but if we have to use a bomb, we have to use a bomb. I'll use a bomb. Magic mush. Mm, some kind of pill. That's real good. Uh, pyromaniac, if we can get more bombs, is incredible for us. Health down sucks, but would I trade? I mean, this isn't functionally how it worked, but would I trade one HP for Pyromaniac? A hundred times out of a hundred. Well, unless I... Did, I mean, a hundred times out of a hundred where I had that amount of HP to trade and also did not have a low amount of bombs. I mean, it's not a... You, you gotta evaluate it on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm not very pleased with Curse of the Lost right now. Oh, okay, yeah, just immediately walk me into this room. It's not like I could have been killed or anything like that. Now it's all about uh, exploration in the hopes of not taking, or let's just put it this way, getting more HP than we lose. Oh, this is walkover, man. We don't need to do anything uh, overly grandiose here. Do you have another tinted rock? That's pretty much what I'm looking for, and a small rock would make my dreams come true like a 501 Days of Summer montage. It's not 501 Days of Summer, is it? It's 500 days of summer, and I am getting the number confused because of a pair of jeans. Okay, one of those is health down. Luck down. Two of those are luck down. One of them is bad gas. So, we definitely take health down with us. It's, it's well-trodden territory how good uh, a health down pill actually is in the whole scheme of things. Presumably at some point, if, if all goes well, we will be able to use this health down pill to break even on health down pills. Which is why I think this pill is actually, in a lot of circumstances, actually better than, like, a Tears Down. Because just the, by virtue of the fact that there is a Health Down pill in our rotation, that means there is a Health Up pill in our rotation. Or something that can be used as a Health Upgrade in our rotation. It's a bad pill with a positive side. Nope, I'm trapped. <laughs> that was my own fault, but I, the latter uh, contributed to me getting trapped on top of the... On top of the abyss there, so... That's my own fault, but uh, let's let's try not to let that happen in the future, shall we, Ladder? Let's work together here. I think that'll do it for this floor. Uh, as you might expect, I haven't talked about it yet. Boss Rush is not going to be, you know, too uh, enormous of a concern for me, I think. We're already at 13 minutes on the Caves 1, Catacombs 1. Not too worthwhile. Um, what was our other item in here? Little Baggy is not worth it. In fact, I don't think anything else there is necessary. We, we should be fine on Spirit Hearts. It is safer to buy more, but I'm saving it in case we want to buy more on the next floor, you know. I'm saving our money in case we want to buy more on the next floor. We have enough bombs. I mean, it's a little risky, but we do have enough bombs that we can um, do this. And if we get an Eternal Heart or something, it's worth it. I think that was worth it. Uh, of course, we have Pyro, so we want to, if possible, keep our bombs fairly high, because it makes us almost literally impossible to kill. However, we may not have that opportunity, and, uh, you know, we got to... We gotta trade resources we have for resources we don't. That's, you gotta play ball with Isaac a little bit. Hopefully we won't end up having to use Pyro's abilities too uh, prodigiously, but if we do have to, or we get the opportunity to, I'm okay with that. Liberty Cap basically told me that this is not a... Uh... Do you know these? Wow. Not a great rotation. That's good. That's a real health uh, up. But Liberty Cap told me this is like a... A non-dice room. Is that another health up? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. 
able. Well, we would have taken it either way because we don't have a choice in the matter. Looking increasingly unlikely, I'd say that this health downgrade pill ever becomes useful for us, but, or, you know, maybe if we get like a super great triple deal with the devil here. A triple dibble D, as Guy Fieri might say. It's like Guy Fieri. I can't really, I can't do the, the tongue rolling thing. Uh, I'm gonna go low on HP here. We could always bomb ourselves to get it back, but it does allow us access to the boss trap room. The one thing we're lacking, it feels weird saying this while I'm shooting giant sights through my face, but the one thing we're lacking here is, uh, damage. HP's fine, better than average for this point in the game. Uh, we're, we're lacking a little bit of damage. Without Death's Touch, it would be way more noticeable, but with Death's Touch, it's like, you know, we, we can exist on this amount of damage for quite some time, but I'd really like to step it up a little bit so we don't find ourselves in a, a, a very dangerous situation. Definitely a good case to be made for using the shears on this room, but I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to ignore that case. I'm gonna throw a spirit heart away, going into this curse room as well. Remember, we're only uh, well, it's probably better to declare it by the negative. We're two guppy items away from becoming guppy. That's not uh, that's not that difficult, especially when we're fully expecting to get a deal with the devil on this floor. I'm gonna try to blow this guy up next to me. There we go. We could use the HP, and uh, there's been a few enemies that could explode. I might as well take advantage of that, uh, so we can play the Blood Bank some more. It didn't look like our boss trap room was too strong. The Bean is a terrible item that I'm, well, I liked it I liked it in vanilla. By the, the, the end of my time in vanilla, I was a big fan of the Bean. However, I think it's not necessarily aged too well into Rebirth here. I believe that the, the Radius, either I didn't notice in vanilla, or it's changed, because the Radius sucks now. <clears throat> I'll buy the spirit art. I'll buy I'll buy a couple of things here. Piggy bank, I think is fine. Blank card is is very interesting. We don't have anything to go with it yet, but if we do get something, I'll be happy to take it with us. Ah, this is great. It happens with surprising regularity, but really like the double fallen room or double deal with the devil boss room chance is so good. Lord of the Pit, we could really use that ability to fly, and we're definitely taking both of these. One is Demon Baby, it's okay. The other one is Brother Bobby. So we got two familiars for two red hearts. It's, it's a little of a shit deal, I'm not gonna deny that, but um, we, we had the HP necessary to take it, and I think it was, well, in hindsight, was it worth it? No. But was it the right decision? Yes. You gotta reconcile that in Isaac sometimes. Uh, not always will the right decision actually be the right decision when things shake out, weirdly enough. Uh, and we're getting closer to being able to use this health down pill. I'm not going to focus on that too, too much because, uh, you know, the last thing I want to do is, is use that health upgrade pill and still end up finding myself killed as a result. What? How did I not get hit there? Usually I'd be like, how did that hit me? No, this is quite the opposite. How did I not get hit there? That was ridiculous. All right, we're going to get our money built back up here. This uh, blood bank was pretty much the primary reason why I was not super concerned about uh, spending as much money as we did on the shop there. I do, you know, this seems like the perfect run to donate a lot to our donation machine. We've been doing really well about that lately. Ah, I still got hit. We've been doing really well with that lately, and uh, I hope that we will continue to do really well with that lately. Because really, that donation machine has a surprising amount of, of relevancy when it comes to whether or not we're going to be able to see this streak go long term. The donation machine is a really principal element of... Uh, of winning runs in the early game. You know, when you don't have spirit hearts, you don't have keys, you don't have battery charges, uh, the, the donation machine is there for you, man. It's like your manager. He's the bank. He gives you a loan. He helps you out. Obviously, the ladder purchase was very stupid now. Um, let's look for secret rooms, and in the meantime, I kind of hope it takes me a little while to find them, because we will be able to get some HP back. There's a golden poop in here. Was it worth it? Yeah, I mean, we got like six cents out of it for a bomb. That's not so bad. Technically, we're going to get even more out of it, because we got HP back this way. Child's Heart is interesting, but not immediately super useful for ourselves here. I'm really hoping we get the blood bag payout, and honestly, it should be pretty likely... I think we're going to find the second secret room pretty quickly, though. Pick up this, obviously, and, uh, why don't we, you know, we get a bonus out of this, basically, so we might as well try looking for it. Oh, we got hit by the poison, though, so we lost a spirit art in the process. Yeah, okay, we should pay attention to stuff like that in the future, I guess. That can heal us as well, just by shooting it, so we might as well take advantage of that. And there's another black heart here. 
We started at like 38 cents, we're gonna finish this floor at like 38 cents. We might want to take this floor as an opportunity to donate, actually. We'll see if, if that ends up being uh, relevant. Just, you never know, you could get two, uh, two greed fights in a row. Blood bag, that's fine. Uh, I, I'll admit that I was a little hoping it would be IV bag just so we can get even more money, but I think the HP is way more valuable for us than the money will be, so... We'll open this up as well, and we, we pretty much got enough money to buy ourselves another battery charge. At first I thought we left the battery in one of the rooms, but now I don't think we did. But it doesn't really matter, you know, we're still... We're getting our haul here. I'm doing my due diligence, it's working out really well. I would love to get BFF, man. I, I don't think I've ever considered it, but BFF Shears, or at least recently I haven't considered it, BFF Shears has to be like a, a go-to amazing combination, right? I'd be surprised if it were not. Uh, Blood Bag is still a speed upgrade, maybe? I, I've been under the impression that it wasn't, but I definitely seem faster, and that is unlikely to all be as a result of Liberty Cap. Alright, let's donate as much money as they'll have us take here. We should still conceivably be, yeah be able to be in totally fine financial straits as we head down to the next floor. Uh, good stuff. A little bit of a muted run so far, with the exception of Death's Touch, but still. I'm happy with it. I think this is a good use of our resources here. Got a lot of bombs for a couple of keys. Picked up some money we probably don't need, but you never know. You know, each one of those bombs represents something plus one red heart, so... There is, uh, there is something to be said for the bombs being more valuable than they otherwise might be in a lot of these situations. And this room's not going to be too difficult. Of course, we did use the shears to make it happen. We're running out of shops. Um, you know, I'm hoping for BFF. I'm hoping for 9-volt. I'm hoping for AAA battery. That's not a shop item, but, you know, you get the idea. Anything to make shears from, like, a once-every-six-rooms item into a once-every-four-rooms item could be worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the left hands. I really would like to become Guppy, like always, but this is a situation in which I would, because it is a situation. Very poor damage on my part there. That wasn't poor damage, I was just taking damage so I could easily get uh, three cents back in return. Hopefully we pick up a Spirit Heart or two here. Nope. A little bit of poor luck, that's okay. wonder if we should... I want to try something. Nope, still hurts. I think it still hurt anyway. Um, I thought maybe I could bomb my way out of curse rooms with Pyro, Pyromaniac, and not take damage, but uh, that is indeed not the case, it seems. That's okay. Just it would have been one of those things that over the course of my eyes and career would probably save me like 30 spirit hearts, but on a run by run basis, probably not incredibly like super meaningful by itself. Wow, that is a really unfortunate dodge on my part. And I'm starting, to, I'm starting to hemorrhage HP a little bit. Lost way more on this floor than I would like to admit. As if on cue. Much appreciated. One more. Uh, blue pill? Blue pill is not good. Uh, red and white speckled pill is even worse. Until it isn't. And I'm really hoping that... You know, it doesn't necessarily take a huge deal with the devil. Ooh. That's luck down and pretty fly good. It doesn't necessarily take one huge deal with the devil for us to be able to use these health down pills. Uh, we could actually just get a guppy's paw, a little bit less likely, or a nine lives, maybe like the more likely outcome to make it happen. Uh, the emperor card is pretty okay. I would like to take it, so if we can get one of those deals with the devil on this floor. By the way, I wasn't saying that uh, guppy's paw was less likely to show up. Rather, just that I'd be less likely to use it all the way down to zero and then pop a health upgrade pill because we'd already be at the HP cap, I think. My rudimentary uh, knowledge of arithmetic at this point, I think, checks out. That was the exact opposite way that I wanted to handle that. That's a bad pill. Uh, we might want to buy the bomb. I mean, the money's not really doing us any good just sitting there, you know? Getting uh, eroded by inflation, so it's probably better for us, if possible, to... Spend it, but we don't have really too much to spend it on right now. One bomb. Could be meaningful. Could be worthless. I don't really care about the green champion. If you want to explode, then that is uh, your prerogative. I'm not going to take damage in the process, so pretty much it's up to you. I'm really, really hoping for a deal with the devil. Maybe no HP from this deal with the devil, and then give me a freaking reason to be excited about my damage. You know, we've been low on it for quite some time. Starting to really rethink this 
help down pill instead of the Emperor card. I mean, the Emperor card saves us so much HP in the late game. If we take an Emperor... Oh, we had blank card, too. We could have had blank card Emperor by now, but, you know, that's a little too little too late to be worried about, I'd suggest. Okay. Monster 2, easy enough. Especially with the shears, especially with him being baited a little bit into standing still there. Yeah, he's done. Okay, deal with the devil here. No Krampus. Halo's so good. I'm really starting to think at this point there's pretty much no chance that we uh, get to use these health down pills effectively. The way that I would like to use them at least. So let's go back. We'll pick up the Emperor card. And we'll get the heck out of Dodge. We're at 23 minutes going down to the next floor. Uh, feeling pretty good. I would have loved to have taken Blank card. But Shears is also working wonders for us. So I'm not salty about it. The Halo is a, a decent enough damage pickup that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not displeased about it, of course. Curse of the Lost is really annoying, I'll tell you that much. And that coffee is far too cold, hopefully not a bad omen. We're just like, just a little bit shy of being completely, completely in the win here. You know what would also be awesome is, uh, some luck upgrades, so that Celtic Cross actually was a little bit more effective for us. Um, I, I really, I don't care. Please just blow yourself up. Thank you. We got another bomb out of it, which as far as I'm concerned is a sign from above that we should do this a little bit more often. And we'll gamble a little bit more here. I, I don't care about 99 cents. I would like the blood bag. Oh, there we go. Celtic Cross actually has a chance to work for ourselves here. And we'll stop there, because I, I really don't want to lose spirit hearts accidentally. Alright, uh, let's get a move on. Yes, yes please. Don't run into me, but explode near me. Well, some habits are, you know, hard to kill. <laughs> That was very tricky for me to to be like, I want to get next to this enemy? Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Why are you closed? You know, in terms of things that I'm very proud uh, of as a Canadian, I think Why Are You Closed? Cadillac Fairview Man gets mad at Maul for closing. Uh, that's a pretty big one. And also the maple syrup heist that has made a mockery of our nation's... Uh, one of our nation's favorite foods. That's another one. Definitely not great marks of uh, national shame. I didn't mean to play that uh, blood bank there. That was my mistake. I don't know why I'm still picking up the money. Uh, I'm getting a little little nervous about this. I mean, we do still have HP and well, spirit arts at least, and we do have some bombs. But you know, I, I have a history. It's a semi-distant history now, but it's it's not without precedent for me to accidentally just go way too hard on an arcade and, and find myself more likely to die as a result, so I'm gonna try to hold off just a little bit here. I will go to the curse room right away, because I don't know what's good for me. That's fantastic. This is fine. And I would say that this has worked out in a, a way that was conducive to my success. I appreciate that a lot. Of course, we were hoping for uh, two guppy items, but Let's be honest, that's a bit of a pipe dream. Very concerned that I was going to take damage there. We still have item room, we still have shop, we still have our arcade, which actually... I mean, at this point, I'm not expecting money to be of any use at all. So why am I playing it? I guess I'm hoping for a blood bag, but now that I think of it, do I really... What difference does 6 HP provide us versus 5? It, it's not meaningless, but it's probably insignificant, you know? It's probably better for us just to, to focus on making sure we have full HP for when we go down to the next floor, you know? It's, uh, it's a remnant from my my old philosophy of, of playing Isaac as aggressively as possible. We found, like, a pretty... Oh, I should have just let myself get hit by, like, every single one of those bombs, but, um, we found, uh, that really it's, it's more about playing with a nice little mix of aggression and also, uh, conservativeness that has really helped me out here. I should have gone to our boss trap room first, but I was too excited by the fact that we just, like, got exactly what we wanted from that, and now we can move along. Item room and shop. There's our item room. Uh, I, I would be expecting maybe a greed fight against our, or on our shop, and that's totally fine. You know, you gotta pay the piper at some point. Isaac's heart is a no-take. No matter how absurd I ever get in Isaac, um, Isaac's Heart is, I think, always going to be one of those items that the only way I'm picking it up is on a run, reroll, or Curse of the Blind. 
I hate it. <laughs> I really dislike that item. I don't know why I picked up the nickel there. I'm going to avoid making the same mistake. Very poor damage, but not a huge issue. Okay, uh, you are going to give me the option to take red candle, huh? Well, it's a health downgrade pill. I'll take the spirit heart. I'll take the Bible, just so we don't have to get it again. Uh, if you get red candle again, I might want to take it, actually. Our damage is still leaving a little bit to be desired, but... That's fine. Not the best shops for us uh, over the course of the game. We can live with it. I don't think anything on that shop is going to have, like, world-shattering consequences. I would like Red Candle, but I'm, I'm very content with the Shears. I mean, the thing is, you feel bad a little bit about holding the Shears for, like, 75% of the rooms in uh, each floor. And then you just use it on the, uh, the boss fight, and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, right, the Shears are actually completely amazing. I just wish we could use them a little more often. Speaking of which, maybe Mom's heart could pop down here. Wow, it's got like such a good aggro range, too. And, and of course, as I say that, it gets stuck on a rock. But up to that point, it was doing some pretty good stuff. Alright, very easy. Deal with the devil here. No curse of the blind. Very excited for everything here. Yes, for everything. And I don't think there's... We can't take these in the wrong order, basically. That is a, a couple of really nice damage upgrades combined with one of the better defensive items in the game. One of the best defensive items in the game. Very tempted to use the Emperor card here, but we will not. Oh, that was so worth it. Okay. So I wouldn't be uh, expecting a, a seismic shift in our damage, but it was a, a pretty nice haul. It's like picking up a couple of small rocks, I think. Roughly, uh, and, and that's good, but mostly this is about Dark Bomb making it impossible for me to die. So I'm already starting to count my chickens a little bit here as a result of that, which was honestly one of the better deals of the devil I think you can possibly have, you know, if you're looking at all the items. Because not only is it, uh, oh, thank God. Not only is it, uh, you know, three good items, but as long as you had enough HP, you could take them all and feel relatively safe because we got three spirit hearts refunded to us as well. Maybe like Demon Baby, you could just take care of him. And he's going to explode anyway, so yeah. Oh, he freaking touched me. And that really hurt. Got to make our turns big here so they can't get a chance. Uh, definitely want to go into that curse room, hoping that this is our secret room. Nope. That's okay. It's worth it for the guppy chance. And it ended up being worth it regardless. I mean, we shouldn't be too conservative in our play here because we would be expecting that... Uh, Dark Bum will pay out with a decent amount of Spirit Hearts, at the very least. Of course, we need the Red Hearts first, and our Luck stat is pretty low. But, I feel like we can make this work pretty quickly. We haven't had Small Rock yet, either, so I'm... Like, if we can have the opportunity to find a Tinted Rock on here, I'd like to take advantage of it. Almost too lazy to look at every single one of these rocks. I didn't see a Tinted Rock in there. You're welcome to... You're welcome to pause the video and fact check that, but I feel like we did not. Uh, petrified poop is actually, n it, it does sometimes lead to payouts of red hearts from poop, but it's largely irrelevant. I think left hand's going to be better for us for our admittedly still pretty minute chance of becoming guppy, but it's worth a shot. That bomb, it's hard to get out of the habit of bombs not being, you know, things to run away from immediately. Not that we really gain anything from getting hit by that bomb, but you get the idea. Of course, you, you probably don't need me to tell you that I'm not very pleased with my play on this room. This is not a room that was worth losing two spirit hearts. Excuse me. Dark Bomb. Thank you. Had to pay out with something there. Uh, no Tinted Rock that I can see in that pile either, which is actually a pretty big surprise. Usually you're going to find a Tinted Rock in that room. That's one of the, the archetypes I look for. Just keep it moving here. Nothing to worry about. HP's good. The only thing that's a little, you know, salt-inducing. Very low deal with the devil chance on this floor. Not, not at zero. But low. And, of course, that's going to make it pretty unlikely that I actually see my dream of becoming Guppy become a reality of becoming Guppy. But every red chest gives us another chance. And if we get a deal with the devil, even if we don't get a Guppy item directly, just getting, like, um... Yeah, this is perfect. Just getting, uh, 
like a contract from below would give us a really good chance as well because it would double our red chest drops but i would really not expect to find a deal with the devil here if we get one i would uh i'd consider it a pretty nice spell of luck so the wound two is the last uh floor for a while that we're gonna do the old-fashioned way Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, I'm going to take it, but it is not my intention to use it yet. And of course, we had to take this. Um, I like this because it gives us the invincibility. What I'm thinking is that if we find ourselves being likely to lose our life on the chest, what we'll do is um, just leave the spirit hearts on the ground so that when we die we get the damage bonus and we can respawn with them. Uh, with with uh, the extra hearts to give us a really, really good chance of, of winning the game as Dark Judas. This is one of the very, very few times where I'm going to say that we're probably a little too late in the game to actively kill ourselves to become Dark Judas. But, uh, I'll admit that, you know, with Dark Bum, we could probably swing that on this floor if we wanted to invest, uh, invest the time into it. But I really don't. To be honest with you, uh, I, I think we're, we're totally fine as is, and it's going to be a little bit of a nightmare to try to swing Dark Judas at, like, on purpose. I'd rather just leave Spirit Hearts on the ground on the chest, and then if we die, we have, like, a, the best fail safe you could ask for, basically. We're going to come back with double damage and probably, like, as much HP as we can stomach, assuming we get some decent Red Heart drops. But we got to make sure not to pick up the Spirit Hearts in that case, which is another thing that feels completely unnatural, but... Might be the right call. Either way, I'm still happy with that Dark Judas play. Um, I think it was the right call to pick it up. Even if we end up not using it, it, it does benefit us by giving us the invincibility. That's a health upgrade. I actually don't want that, weirdly enough. Even, you know, I, I don't think that really factors into my Dark Judas play either. I will take that for now. There's no real reason not to. Um... Like, I don't think one HP upgrade is enough to make me want to play as Dark Judas. If it was the early game, you know, if we were on the basement one, I'd be all over it. But we're not on the basement one. Hmm, Pandora's box is, uh, is interesting on the cathedral. I don't really want to give up the shears, but I, I think I will. Just because it, it's interesting, you know? And we'll get another spacebar item. We won't have our shears during the Isaac fight. We could use them for the mom's hard fight, but I probably just won't. Um, out of basically inertia or laziness, whichever you know, you want to use the nice word or you want to use the, the rude word. <laughs> Either way, uh, we'll uh, we'll probably still be fine with this. Ah, just one guppy item. I mean, to be fair, this is looking like a seed where we probably should have gotten like zero guppy items, uh, and and we've kind of managed to scavenge for the ones that we did get. So I'm not feeling like we're missing out on a guppy we're entitled to. Oh, don't waste your keys. Emperor card is also, I think, like on a basic level, more valuable than than HP because it's gonna save us. Eh, you know, it might actually cost us some HP, but it, the the traditional thinking is that it'll probably save us a little bit of HP or more than a little bit of HP. Thank you, Dark Bum. Making it so I broke even. Oh, we found our secret room as well. That's a big surprise. We got contract from below. And I'm going to end up having to fight these enemies again because I am an idiot. But all the champions are dead, so we can't farm them. Not very smart. Oh, they're all dead now. You got something for me? You're too kind. Even though you paid out with a spider, the fact that you paid out at all is awesome. So contract from below gives us a pretty decent chance of becoming Guppy. Question is, do we want to uh, take... I thought it gave us double the bomb or the chest drops, but maybe it's only in specific situations. Um, do we want to take the left hand down to the chest? The answer is almost exclusively no, but there are some times where it has worked out for us in the past. But I, if I can remember to drop it, I'm going to drop it. All right, so this is where things are going to start to move very, very quickly for us. I would love, I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but I would love for a great payout from Pandora's box on the cathedral. I keep... Keep asking for it. One of these days, maybe. I don't think that would have found it, honestly. Alright. Maybe it would have. You got me. Pass the whiskey. Now, if we just continue the barrage here. I mean, you can see how um, we're not really doing a staggering amount of damage with just Death's Touch Mark Pact. It's good. 
Don't get me wrong, it's certainly enough damage to win the game. I do wish that... Oh, that's Celtic Crosses in this ability. Just wish that maybe we'd gotten a little bit more bombastic of a damage upgrade, but... Oh well. Death's Touch is up there, for sure. I'm not gonna complain too hard about, uh, you know, being carried like that. Yeah, we got Sacred Heart. That's that's pretty solid. So we'll use our Emperor card. Sacred Heart gives you HP? What's up with that? I don't want it. I want to give it away! Alright, so let's uh, drop the left hand, like, straight away here. It is dropped. Let's not dodge back into it. Um, kind of hard to see the shots that are coming out here. It's the first time we've had Sacred Heart in forever. Homing shots are nice, but, I mean, the hitbox is now so large that we wouldn't need the homing shots to begin with, but it, it seems a little silly to complain about our hitbox being so large that we can't use the homing shots, both of which we got from the same item. Oh, my steak is so good, I can't taste the gold foil mashed potatoes. Shut up, Northern Yuppie character you made up in your head as a straw man to be mad at the absurdly affluent. Yeah, definitely make sure to get that. That overcharged penny is going to be really important, I think. How about this for a rebirth? It's like a piggy bank item, you can just call it the bank. It stores pennies over 99 cents, but every penny you get over 99 cents gives you more damage. You ever think about that? Good. Might as well. Also good, because we already have our HP ruined, and I'm not going to use Dead Sea Scrolls. Because I hate it. So, on this floor, what's our what's our MO on this floor? Our MO on this floor is to... Whenever Dark Bum pays out with Spirit Hearts, we're not going to pick them up. And then if we die, we just go back and get all the Spirit Hearts. This might be... I might be overthinking that. And I might... I might be doing the, the rare over and under thing simultaneously. Maybe we should just pick up the Spirit Hearts and try to make this first life work for ourselves. Wafer is real nice. Oh, we got the Emperor card. Alright, let's just finish this off. I'm ready. I don't know how much HP we have, but it's at least uh, 7 and... It might, it might be 8 now, but it's basically 14 hits that we can take on the boss fight. I don't think we're going to take 14 hits, especially considering Celtic Cross is going to give us some invincibility. Ooh, this is looking like a win 85. Halfway from 70 to 100. You know, I gotta I gotta make arbitrary milestones like that to keep my momentum high, in my opinion at least, in my in my mind. Not smart damage, but again, we we have no risk of death. Even if we die, we respawn as Dark Judas. It's looking pretty dang good. Thank you, Sacred Heart Mark Pact. And of course, the uh Death's Touch early on. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.